Today is Saturday, July the 23rd, 2011, and I'm going to document here just for fun, just so that we have a record of it, a wonderful old Hewlett Packard electronic counter model 523DR. This beauty has 65 vacuum tubes in it. I'll show you that in just a minute. But what I've got hooked up is a function generator right here. We'll use this uh, Tektronix, uh, what is this, an FG501A. We're looking at it right here. We're putting out a square wave. That's what we're going to be looking at over here on the counter. And it's at uh, 10,005 hertz. And here's how we read this thing out. Right here, as you move this around, it mo this is the decimal point. So if we move it over there, we have 10,005. See, one zero, 10,005. Four, just like the other one. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. You can see that last digit stopping. Pretty much every time, the same one. Sometimes they disagree about one. But this is our decimal point, which is a, a light bulb behind it. Here's the other decimal points, and as we move this, you can see it moves around. So there's our 10,000, and it's estimating 10,000 and one every once in a while. We can make it count faster or slower with this. We turn it all the way to the left, or, or the whole time, I guess, is really what it is. They call it display time. If we turn it up here, It'll only count every once in a while and then hold longer. 10,005, just like the top one. It's amazing. Okay, so much for frequency. It also has a calibrator. Here's uh, the 100 kilohertz cal. And there's the 100.000, so that's 100,000 to the cycle. If we put it in one megahertz, we have to move this or kilocycle, they didn't have, they didn't call it hertz back then, I guess everybody assumed that it was kilocycles per second, but there we go. But now we've got one, zero, 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 one thousand point zero zero kilohertz, which is our, our megahertz cal signal. But so much for counting frequency, it does that marvelously. If we move our, our input from uh, this side over here, and then we're our uh, our selector, our function selector here chooses these set of knobs. But if we go here, we'll go to time interval for an ex for example. And I've got it set up right now. Right here, if you can see this, I've got the start input and the stop input jumper together. Same signal, same 10 kilohertz square wave. And I'm going to set it to start on a on a uh, positive pulse and stop on a negative pulse. So that gives us a time duration of, and we've got it set to microseconds, of 50 microseconds, which is right. That's a half of a pulse. That's, if, we, if we're triggering on it going up, triggering on the positive slope, and we're, and we're stopping on the negative slope, positive slope, so it triggers here and it stops here. It starts here, stops here, so it's telling us that that's 50 microseconds wide, which it is, which would be half of 10 kilohertz. Now, if we trigger on the up, the positive slope, and then we trigger again on the positive slope, watch what happens here. It goes to 100. So the reciprocal of 100 point, nothing out there, microseconds is our 10 kilohertz because Reciprocal of 100 microseconds is 10 kilohertz, and the reciprocal of 10 kilohertz, of course, is 100 microseconds. Well, so much for that. It's, it's quite it's quite interesting and beautiful. Uh, these knobs up here, uh, the multiplier and the start trigger level, the stop trigger level, you can play with those, but there's no use in just wasting our time doing that. But let me show you inside this beauty. Turn on the light here and say this thing's got, I counted 65 vacuum tubes. It does, it is properly screwed down, but I loosened it just for this. Got a big fan back there, trying to keep it cool. It's got ballast tubes and rectifiers and um, 
voltage regulators, another rectifier there, and about a bazillion uh, military grade 12AU7s. Most of those are 12AU7s, certainly not all of them. But uh, it is a beauty. Still in great shape. Nobody has cannibalized it, kicked it around, beat it. Very pleased with it. Marvelous instrument. Just for fun. And uh, if you ever run across these old things, I hope that uh, if you pick them up, you can enjoy them and keep them running for uh, future generations. Hope you enjoy it.